Well, I was doing good last night. The snow's pretty dang deep, three feet at least. And then I got stuck, high centered, pitch camp right went to the Jeep and started a little fire in the stove and stuff. It's not that cold. I was pretty warm last night. But I'm good and stuck here. I centered. So you gotta drop down to that. There's a freaking log down there too. I don't know, this might be the end of the road. Slowly come out of the hole here. Except that rear passenger tire came off the bead because it was didn't have much air in it and it was getting side loaded with all that good stuff I have with my winch and my snatch blocks and stuff. I mean we'll get out of here. Hopefully I can reset this thing on the bead. It was pretty collapsed over. So we're gonna see if we can get this thing back on the bead. I got my little jack set up there. I had to take the wheel off, kind of bounce it around. I guess that's one of the good things about having a high volume uh, air compressor. But I got the bead back on. That was kind of a lot of work though. Okay, we got everything back together. Could start cranking on this winch again. See, we're right at about 4,800 feet. I'm gonna set a waypoint here so I can get back, see how far I get away from the tent and the Jeep. We're gonna go for a little snowshoe. Be back later. Well, I'm down to this tree. That looks like a really big tree. It's just buried in the snow and Right next to it, there's like a seven foot drop off right there. So this one might be tough. Yeah, I can see back in there how big that tree is. That's a big tree. This would take some work. I'm not moving this thing unless I work at it for a long time. Might be able to get over, but usually around the tree, you have like a tree well sort of thing. But at least there's a lot of trees close by where I could pull myself out with the hand winch if I had to. So. Can't. Oh, you can just see the top of the tent, so it's not that far. I could just come down here and work on this. Go back and forth. Yeah, looks like that tree stops right there, but man, that's that's treacherous right there. Trying to get around this thing. Now we'll go up further, and look some more. Just check the GPS. I'm about a little better than a quarter of a mile from camp now. And just ran into one more tree after that big one. I'm looking down in this drop off here. I, might, I don't know if I want to go down there. Maybe I'll go a little further. Looks like there's something in the road down there, but it might be a shadow. This is going to be a real project to get the Jeep up here to Parker Meadows, I'll tell you that. I figured it would be, but... Once you start doing it, then you can feel it in your body and it becomes reality. <laughs> so, I don't know, I could go a little further. I'll walk down there a little further maybe so I can get a half mile from camp or so. It sure is pretty up here. Beautiful day. I'm up here a little better than a uh, half a mile from camp now. Found another tree, big tree in the road. I'm kind of crazy, so I might try this coming up here, but this snow is really deep. This is a nice little creek right here you can see how deep the snow is I don't know how deep it is but probably here in the road four or five feet but this is a lot of 
freaking snow to be screwing around in. I don't think I'm gonna go any further. I gotta get back to camp. Get out of here, I'll try this another day. These tree wells, look how deep that is. Holy crap, that's like freaking eight feet deep down there. Damn. Here we go, the tent's all closed up. Ready to sit here for a few days. It's supposed to snow this weekend. Deep sitting right there, ready to go, warming up. Here's where I got stuck. One last look at the tent before we take off. That was pretty trees behind it. Looks really nice. Hope we can get out of here okay. It's uh, 3.30, let's see how soft everything is. Mirrored down to like 12 PSI all around. So, let's see how we do. I'm getting through this soft snow pretty good. This is, this is pretty flat right here. But we're air down to around 12 PSI. And when I go through this, I mostly go by feel. You feel yourself starting to spin or slow down because of the snow, you start to spin. Then you want to stop, don't dig any further, back up. Those are my tracks. Maybe take a run at it a few times and build yourself a little ramp kind of thing. See my crosses from the chains. The snow is deeper than hell. It's like we're doing. Get up here in the sunshine and see how we do. Creeping along here in crawl control. There's a spot back there where the sun been shining on it. And I had to slow way down. That's like normally when you something slows you down, you put more gas on it. But when here in the snow like this, you got to do the opposite. You got to uh, give it less gas. We made it to mile post eight. We got a ways to go. Mile post seven's next. Of course. <laughs> Let's watch this. I'm going to pull it up out of my rut. A little bit. This snow is probably two feet deep, three feet deep in some spots. So it's greatly exceeding my ground clearance, which I think is like about nine inches on the trail hawks. I don't think uh, ground clearance really has much diff much effect on how much or how deep a snow you can go through. You just gotta have enough float to equal your ground clearance. And I'm aired down to 12 PSI. I have the chains on. They help, the chains help me keep from digging and then burying. Ooh, that feels soft. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. The back's sinking. What's going on? As long as we keep moving, we're okay. Okay, it's coming up now. Anyway, the chains help keep the tires from spinning. When your tires spin, they dig in to the snow and you just bury yourself in high center. So the chains work great in the back country. I have a, this crawl control. I'm gonna speed up a little bit. Sped up to two miles an hour in crawl control. See how that works. Okay, so I could feel it. And then you can hear the tires start to slip. If they start to slip, you gotta slow down. Ah, we're hanging in there. Just hanging in there at two miles an hour. That's where we're at. Going in the shade, so generally going in the shade, I get better traction because the snow's firmer in the shade. So speed up a little bit. Go back in my tracks. We're dropping in elevation, so snow probably will get softer as we go. See what's going on here? That was really soft. Go 
going downhill, so that is some soft stuff right there. We'd have a hard time if we were coming uphill. I think that's through the worst of it. Sounds better. Thank you. 